Welcome on board our 370Z charter boat double D. It's a CV, 37 foot step tall. And we're going to go through the boat and show you the different amenities on it and what features it has. Starting up in the bow, we got a nice big anchor locker. Open that up. This is where we store our Paratech sea anchor that we use for kite fishing. A big fortress anchor with plenty of anchor rope. As you can see along the gunnels, pointing down the sides, there's plenty and plenty and plenty of rod holders. Both sides. And we have a nice big insulated fish box. You can see now. Keep a fish bag in there with ice. Helps us maintain our, our catch. We have a forward live well. This is a nice big live well. Boat has a total of four live wells. This is a big 90, 95 gallon, 100 gallon well. We have two storage compartments up front. Keep various things in there. Another storage compartment on this side. Keep our helium tank in case the wind, there's no wind. We have some brushes, cleaning supplies. In these compartments right here are life preservers. Open them up and you can see it. Got plenty of them for everybody on board. Same thing on the other side. If you notice the flooring, the flooring's from Aqua Traction, which is a really, a really nice floor. It's made out of polyethylene foam, not so it'll stand up to stains, fish blood. And it's super soft, super comfortable. It's like walking on a carpet almost all day, non-slip resistant, so you're really not going to slip on this stuff at all. And it just adds a little bit of color and a little bit of uh, niceness, I guess, to, to the eyes when you're looking at the floor. And we'll go through, this is our center console, our console here, polycarbonate glass, cushion, slide out door door slides open reveals a head we have the head down below there's storage back there electrical stuff we have an e -perp. I don't know if you can see it there on the side a bunch of our kites and along the side of the console I'm gonna have our pen fishing gear we have pen spin fishers couple to our Biscayne rods notice the rod storage is on the side of the console so you have a complete walk around we have our hooker electric reels these are our electric kite reels same thing on this side we have our Biscayne rods and our conventional tackle here we have our awesome Simrad electronics we have two NSS Evo 3 16 inch monitors Upstairs we have a 12 inch NSS EVO 3. This one has the S5100 depth module and also an Airmar CM599 LH wide transducer so we can read three, four, five thousand feet no problem. On this you'll see we right now we have displaying the Navionics chip. We're going to show you this new chip we have. It is made by CMAP and it is a bathymetric chart. It shows you all the contours, all the little holes like that hole in there. As you go farther out, it'll show you wrecks. Very detailed. actually see a wreck right there with my fingers pointing another wreck that I had already marked with my fingers pointing right there you can actually see the wreck there so it's a pretty awesome piece of equipment so we have our Simrad our ICOM we have our Mercury vessel view gauge our JL audio stereo which we will turn this on here in a minute we have 
have our steering system and then we have our switches for the console. Inside our rocket launcher, that's where we usually sit and drive, and we have more storage underneath here, mostly tackle. And then another neat feature is this door opens and this is dry storage that people can put their backpacks and stuff in while we're running around. We have a big cooler for our drinks. And you'll notice that this cooler can slide all the way in or can slide all the way out and be used as a seat, which is what we normally do. The latch on the side. Back of the console again. Our little rigging station. We also have more tackle. Various boxes labeled. Other stuff in here. Arena material ports. We have salt water. Raw, I guess raw water, salt water wash down on this side. Fresh water wash down on that side. Notice the JL audio speakers. The bow got a terrific sound system. We have another live well on the floor back here. This is another great live well. Probably another hundred gallons or so. We have a big fish box here. This goes all the way up to where I'm pointing up there, all the way up to almost to the console. Straight back. Same thing on this side. This one has a split split compartment. A split lid, I should say. Goes all the way up to there. Travel all the way back. Nice and long, catch, catch a couple big wahoos, then they go. We have more live wells back here. These are our primary wells. About 40 gallons each. One on each side. That's in here. And these are plumbed, pumped with a Best Marine sea chest. You see it down there with the valving. This Best Marine chest, what it does, it'll keep your pumps cool. Water's come, the pumps are submerged in water, and you always have a fresh supply of water going to your wells. The two live wells in the back in the corners, what allows you to do is walk way up to the back of the boat. So now you can pass a rod around the motors if you had to, no issues. And now we get to our another favorite part of the boat is our new Mercury outboards. These are the new V8 300s. Incredible motors super fast got a lot of torque a lot of power and more economical than the regular the Barados. so they give you more more for more with less fuel and that's coupled with our sea star optimus steering system which is an electro hydraulic system it's almost fingertip control and you'll notice again more rod holders in the back rod holders on the rocket launcher rod holders on the console and then we're going to be walking upstairs to our second station. And we'll be taking a look at that. In a and also you'll notice the radar, which I failed to mention. It's 10KW Simrad Raider, radar. Really easy to pinpoint birds, weather, anything you need to know. All right, here we are in our second station. You'll notice we have full controls up here. Throttle, steering, gauges, start, stop trim and an nss evo 3 12 inch screen has all the capabilities of the screens down below notice we have an aqua traction pad up here it helps us from slipping especially in rough seas we have our top and this is our view at the cockpit Notice our we have our outriggers. They are 22 foot long, 
Gemlux carbon fiber. Really nice poles. Stiff and long. The bases are out of this world. Heavy duty. Digital antennas, black antennas. The black, by the way, is to keep the glare. When the sun's hitting, you don't have a lot of glare. Storage and keep stuff in here. It also houses all the electronic components for your top. Climb down below it. And you'll notice our Gem Lux bases. Oh, they are right there. Alright, let's take it for a spin and see what she does. Up and go. show you earlier you have these back compartments notice there's a bucket holder hold your bucket in place there's valving fuel filters actually salt water and fresh water pump same thing on the other side bucket holder valves for your live wells salt water pump back in that corner trim tab pumps and that's pretty much going to conclude our video today I hope you enjoyed it as you see on this 37 370z CV we take great care of it it is a chart about the fishes 300 days a year but we like to keep our equipment looking almost brand new as, as best we can and our tackle as well this will be a good video for prospective clients to preview before they jump on board so they know what to expect what they can find on the boat, amenities of the boat, and we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.